Hey all, so 2.94 wants us to outline the difference um, in the absorption of our different wavelengths, wavelengths of light, um, specifically red, green, and blue. So there's two graphs going on here and it makes sense to talk about these real quick. So um, obviously we can see our wavelengths down here. So lower wavelengths are higher energy higher wavelengths are lower energy. This is like the distance between the wavelengths. If they're really close together, it's like a lot of energy. If they're spread out, it's more like chill. So if you remember, um, blue was our uh, higher energy, red was lower energy, green is in the middle. So if we look at um, the black line, the black line is measuring the action so if you can think of this as action, and the action is photosynthesis. So basically it's telling us how much CO2 is being used. So we can say absorbed, or we can talk about how much oxygen is being produced. Uh, why, Mr. Fleming? Well, because if you remember the equation for photosynthesis, if we have carbon dioxide and water, that's gonna make our glucose, right? I've run out of room, and a little bit of oxygen. So we can measure how much this is disappearing. So if a lot of that is disappearing, photosynthesis is happening quickly. And we can measure how much this is being produced, the oxygen is being produced. And if a lot is being produced, then we know that photosynthesis is happening uh, efficiently or effectively. Okay, so that's what the action is doing. If, if you can see, like we can look up here, this, and we're looking at the black line, right? We can look up here and we can say, oh, this, this is a lot of action, which means there's a lot of photosynthesis happening. Or we can look here in the reds and the oranges. We can look at that and also say there's a lot of photosynthesis happening. And down here in the greens, not so much. So that's basically what they want you to know. Just remember blue and red work the best. Green doesn't work so well. Absorption spectrum, however, is a little bit different. So absorption is specifically measuring the wavelength of light that is being absorbed. So if you remember, the thing that absorbs is our uh, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a pigment, um, it's a protein, and it captures uh, the sunlight. So it captures blue sunlight, it captures red sunlight, it captures green sunlight, it captures all of these wavelengths. And you can get precise numbers, precise values um, for these absorptions. Um, so that's what the uh, colored line is showing. So this is saying that um, this wavelength of light, which is um, indigo, like violet, which is in the 300s, right? About 70% of that light is absorbed. We're using the right-hand side here. Um, if we look at the peak here, a little over 75% of that blue light is being absorbed. Down here, not so much, around 20, right? And then if we follow the red up here, we can see that about, I don't know, 65% of the light is being absorbed at that specific wavelength of 750. I'm going to talk real quick. Actually, no, let's wait till we do the draw and label. So that's the difference between action and absorption. Action is the photosynthesis happening, which is this black line. Absorption is the specific absorption of this, the different wavelengths of light. So I gave it away. 2.95 wants us to draw and label these graphs. Um, so it, it, it would make sense to remember some values. So if you're drawing the absorption spectrum, it's a little bit more precise, right? It's not this whole kind of lazy curve. I want you to remember peaks. So this peak right here, that peak is about 420 nanometers. I want you to remember this peak for red. That should be about 760 nanometers. So when you're drawing these, make sure you include uh, the axes that have your nanometers on the bottom. And then make sure your peaks are occurring at 420 and 760, more or less. And then when you draw the action spectrum, it's a little calmer and relaxed when you draw that. 